without them, right, I probably, would, I, I would never be here. Um, what they did on the roadside, uh, no, I have no doubt, saved my life. Two of my friends and myself decided we'd, yeah, we'd go on a short cycle ride, about 25 miles um, through the Hampshire countryside. I remember stopping off at uh, the flower pots in Cheriton, you know, for a quick uh, jar, and then uh, heading off down through Oslebury village uh, to a hill called White's Hill. Um, White's Hill is a hill I've never gone down before in my life. And I got to the top of the hill and that's pretty much all I directly remember. On White's Hill there's a, a very steep bit, it's about a 20 degree gradient um, <clears throat> and a right-handed bend. Um, and I, I remember suddenly realising that Tim, who was maybe 20 metres or 30 metres in front of me, um, had slipped off the tarmac onto the gravel at the side. And I just remember seeing his bike um, going out of control. And then well, I just remember him stopping dead and flying sideways into the middle of the road. Um, uh, later I realised he'd smashed into a telegraph pole. So Chris uh, called 999. Well, I went to sort of see what could be done with Tim, who's lying prone, uh, face down in the road and making um, some pretty unpleasant noises because he was struggling to breathe. It, I can tell you it was incredibly reassuring when we, when we, when we heard the air ambulance uh, circling and when we then saw the doctor running up the road with his kit. Knowing that, that, that you have a full trauma doctor on site was incredibly reassuring. I haven't really thought about what it would have meant if they weren't there, but clearly the care that Tim received within a few minutes, within 20 minutes or so of the accident, was the same as if he'd been in A&E in in, in &E, uh, and could, could easily have saved his life. It was, you know, he, he could have died there and then. I'd broken my neck. Um, I'd bo broken my back as well, uh, which is why I was immobilised for the three days. And apparently I'd broken pretty much all of my ribs, um, plus my left sp scapula. Um, I'd had a bleed to the brain um, and uh, consequently I'd lost all of my short-term memory um, for, for several days and my wife will probably say several weeks thereafter. So I was determined to get out of the bed and I remember on the third day um, I kind of got myself on the side of the bed, uh, got on my feet and, or, you know, just collapsed. Could, just couldn't, couldn't go anywhere. As soon as he moved, you could see he just couldn't move properly. He couldn't move his head, his neck, his shoulders, um, and was pretty much confined to a chair um, with the neck brace on. Because the neck injury was, I believe, quite, quite serious and a bit unstable for a while, uh, clearly, because we found out later he was doing about 30 miles an hour. When you stop dead from 30 miles an hour, you, you don't, it doesn't do you any good. Um, I would say the Air, air Ambulance being um, um, a, a totally charitable uh, organisation, right? Um, for me, it was one of the most important things that I did get back on my bike um, and, uh, and fundraise, you know, for, for them. Um, you know, I organised a um, London to Paris uh, cycle ride. I set a target of, you know, £25,000. Um, the ride raised itself about £12,500. Um, we have a fundraising event that we will be scheduling you know, very shortly um, and I'm very confident that we'll raise the rest.